think I'm recording now. Uh, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna be doing some basic editor stuff. Uh, uh, anyways, I'm using PS3, so. So I'll just get this stuff out. This is just my first video on my computer, so it is going to be bad. <laughs> so, you have a few things that you can see. Trunk locator, players, maps, org settings, and view files. This down here is just for downloading the Universal Minecraft conversion, I think. Don't know, never checked it out. So I didn't actually really do much in this world, it's just iron blocks everywhere. So with this tool, you can click on chunks and edit stuff. I'm probably going to be doing most of the tools in different videos. I'm just teaching you the basics today. Mostly the player editing. They can go to other dimensions. That will just show bedrock, you can see now. Well, that's all on top. The end island. It's a bit bugged because I haven't actually gone to the end, but it preloads some of the stuff. Okay, locate. Yeah, right there. 60 locate it's over there apparently yeah they have the players you can see the players maps you can see all the maps I haven't actually opened a map I think yeah I did I'm gonna be doing map editors in a separate video that's a whole different thing not much but world settings so here you can just this doesn't actually do anything it would, would seem cool difficulty uh Easy, no wait, peaceful, easy, normal, hard. Uh, hardcore doesn't do anything, difficulty lock doesn't do anything. As in creative, this is for stuff. I'm probably not gonna make a video on what all these stuff do, but like, game type, don't know what that does. I am scale, this is for generation. L scale, that's the size of the nether. Pretty sure it also doesn't work. Generator name, this is something. You can change it to be no you can change it to be something else, I forgot what. Do you have it so it generates normally instead of flat? Like mine is generating. Yeah. A bunch of stuff in here you can mess around with. Go to dimension date, you can see the end, you can see the dragon fight. Gateways, no gateways. I haven't killed the dragon yet. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, your view files, that's just stuff that I haven't done yet. Just quick access to files if you want that kind of stuff. Villages. There's like villages in this world, and you can't even get access to it most of the time. So we're mostly going to be focusing on the player stuff. I click that way too many times. <laughs> going to be going into the list after I show you what this is. Full flying. Doesn't make sense to me. So invulnerable means can't get hurt unless someone in creative attacks you. But I actually don't know that. I think. I haven't tested it. This means invisible. You got it. Underground if you're underground. But sleeping if you're sleeping. Air. I don't know. It's not like it can run out of air. Death time, I think that's how long you've been dead for. Fire, if you're on fire, it's a negative one instead of two. Uh, one, zero. And negative one means it's not on. Then set it to a number for duration. Here are my times down. Yeah, yeah. Sleep timer, how long they're going to be asleep for. Food level, you can change that to be the food level. <laughs> Health. Uh. Exhaustion, saturation, XP, level, total. I think we do some more things. Score, watch everything you've done. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> so you can change the abilities. So, this is basically like what's happening. So if they're in fly mode, then this will be on one. May fly, may build. Can change their flying speed and their walk speed. 
It she can make them incredibly fast. Attributes, luck for fishing, attack speed. Don't actually know how that works properly yet. Attack damage, basic attack damage with your fist. It's one because heart to heart. My toughness doesn't really get used a lot. Armor also zero because you don't start with armor. Movement speed for some reason it's just zero point one zero 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 one point five one five. Don't know why, but you can also increase that to make them go incredibly fast. Knockback resistance is interesting. Show you a bit here. You set this to one, that's a hundred percent. Set this to zero point zero one, that's one percent knockback resistance. I'll point that out because it works with percentages and different story. That's how all of these work actually. This is zero point one percent movement. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm lying to you. Max health can change the base max health. Doesn't really actually show a lot. Can change the inventory. That that's not going to do. Motion position. So this is X Y Z coordinates. Rotation where they're looking. Yeah, facing north, looking down. You can change. So yeah, this is edit inventory. So this is like the armor slots. They can change what's on their head. You can give them like granite or something. Yeah. You can give them like a sword if you really want. <laughs> give them a sword, or if they have something, then you can just take it away, delete, or change it. Of course, you can give them like items. Like, oh, I'm very professional. Splash potion. If you really want like that. something else? You can give them because you can also give them stuff like barriers. Yeah, barriers in the game. It's pretty cool. I'm actually going to be doing some things. I'm going to show you some things as well. In this little tutorial. Ignore. That's just for setting up later. They can change how the stone sword works, you know. This is normal stuff with items you can. How many stone swords you have, you can set that to up to 227. Damage is how damaged it is, so like one damage means it's like slightly damaged because only one damage has been dealt to the sword. Slot, change about slot is in this. I can change this to one. Like you look into here. It's there. It's there now. But I can change it back. It's like it's changed back to zero. Can go with this. This is easy stuff. So like you can quick enchant. So you can look through this. You can give it like flame. A hundred. Boom. That doesn't even do anything. It's not even useful. Can make it unbreakable if you really want to. I have unbreakable sword. <laughs> Change its name. Doom. Then you can just like enchant it with whatever you want. You can give it basically in the uh, sharpness max. It needs to click max. That's what we cut them up. You can give it like sharpness. Looting, which will cr this will probably crash your game. Depending on how good your PS3 is. Mm. Just, I'll keep that like that for now. You see it has this purple thing, because, you know, it's enchanted. <laughs> Custom potion effect, so when you put a splash potion in your inventory, you can give it, you can enchant it, I don't, that doesn't do really anything really. But you can give it a name, you can give it a custom potion effect. Duration, 2600. So speed, you can give them infinite speed, trying to show particles off or on, turn it off. Duration is in ticks, not in seconds. So, 20 ticks is one second. Same, so if you just want to get like, so whatever number you want, if you're not the best at math like me, you can just get like, calculator. You can go, okay, so I wanted to go for 48 seconds. Just go, time 20. So I just put it for, 960. Close that. Then say, okay, I wanted to go for 48 seconds. And just go boop. 48 seconds. <laughs> yep. Basically, how that works. Damage doesn't do anything on Smash Bros. because it doesn't have durability. Barrier. Zero damage. This stuff. Let's chill it. Induced. So, barrier. Do stuff like that. Dirt. I only did this to show you like other stuff. 
Because you, you can also change the item to be something else like this torch. But I wanted to show you something. Because you can't actually get this from the thing. You can put in command block. It shows the unknown ID because the person who made Universal Minecraft Editor didn't actually put the command block in the thing. And you can also do it over here. Also, I have a damage reward. You probably want to remove that. You can do repeating. Repeating command block. There'll also be an unknown ID. More dirt can do chain command block. If, if these don't work, then probably because I got them wrong, I would need to recheck it. If I do another tutorial, then I'll definitely tell you what the problem was. Actually, I can just do that now. Okay. If I just want to check what they actually are, I'm just going to make them what it matters to. Actually, this will be major spoilers. No, not yet. So, yeah, you can go. These, these are command blocks. Hopefully, they work. I think. Either Okay, so the repeating is either before the command block or after. Not entirely sure, but I think that's how that works. Trust me, I know how to use this program. It is doing this all from memory. So that's the inventory, then you can change the ender item, so recipe, yeah. what's in their ender chest. You give them... No, it's not dirt. You can scroll through some stuff. The thing is, you can also give them stuff like piston head. Pretty cool. You can't actually place it down, but that's the thing, it's pretty cool. But also stuff like fire, or uh, end gateways, like end gateways, or end portal, or whatever. This will, yeah, this will probably crash, this has a high chance of crashing the game, or anything that might crash your game. Yeah. So you probably don't want those. If it works, then it works, lucky you, but I've tried it before and it doesn't work. You can also put chest, so, chest, you can do chest, you can edit the chest, you can enchant it for some reason, display name, so what it is in your hand, custom name is what you see it as when you open the chest, and you can edit what's inside of the chest, so like, say you want to do like strategy or something, I don't know, you like iron chest plate. Sword, you can make them unbreakable. So you can also change it to something else. Basically, what that does, pretty simple. So I think that may be all I'm gonna show you for this tutorial. Just a easy introduction to the player interface and how it works. You probably would have probably already figured this out without me needing to tell you. Just because I need to know if it's a good idea to make more of these, or if it's a bad idea. I honestly don't know. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm change what I meant. Do not try it. By the way, just warning. Probably not a good idea to change this value. It'll change what I mentioned, and it'll probably screw up your game a little bit. Oh, another thing. This is from personal experience. Do not give an enchantment negative level, because the second you scroll over that enchantment, you'll crash your game. And it's not worth risking. Because <laughs> you can't even use the item, you can't trash it, once you somehow get into the main inventory, it would be like, yeah. Also. Don't try risky things, because you can actually lose your world completely. So maybe you should make like a backup on the Minecraft editor. Like, you have the world. You have two copies of the world here. You make one modded, put that on PS3. So if it crashes and you lose it, then you can use the unmodded one and just mod it. Again. Basically a backup. Or you can just save a backup. Or whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I think... Just let me know if this is a good idea to continue this. This is really bad if I do because it's just my like first time. Save. Maybe I would upload. Yeah.
Universal Minecraft Editor. I'll have a download link in the description where you can download it. And when you open it, it will show you on this. It won't be full screen, but it's actually on a full screen right now. Yeah. I'm doing tutorials for PSV because that's what I have. Okay, I'll try. Uh, wait, no. Uh, 